Welcome to Business Leaders Coach, where we educate, enable, equip, and empower you to become the best leader that you can be. My name is Toya Shimbi, founder of Business Leaders Coach. And at Business Leaders Coach, we work with CEOs and their leadership teams, companies that are scaling up and want to accelerate their learning. On this podcast, I bring you practical steps that you can apply in your leadership today. We draw wisdom from some of the best business books, bring on guests and entrepreneurs and authors as well. You can go to businessleaderscoach.com forward slash podcast, subscribe so that we can send each episode and any templates or tools that come with these subsequent episodes. Today is going to be a short message and we're going to be looking at why the economy grows when your small business grows. So today I want to simply focus on why Business Leaders Coach has chosen to focus on small and medium-sized companies. That's a for a specific reason, which sometimes I just want to come back to this uh, just so that people understand what Business Leaders Coach is all about. And it is going to be short. I'm just going to give some statistics so that you can really get an understanding of why this particular target audience has been my choice of focus. And I'm going to be sharing from the UK statistics to just validate my point. But I do want to mention that I've looked across different countries, uh, whether it's in the US in particular, and the numbers are almost exact when it comes to the percentages, not necessarily the number of businesses. So I'm using stats from the national statistics as of October the 7th of 2021. And just to give you perspective, I know I do have audience from different parts of the world, but it's just good. I just want to focus on the UK, but I just use that as a template. Business Leaders Coach, actually, we have customers outside of the UK, but the private sector in the UK has 5.6 million businesses. Now, out of those 5.6 million businesses, 4.2 million uh, will be considered to be a one-man band, and that's 75% that have no other employees. But when they're considered as small businesses, that's uh, 5.5 million, and a small business in the UK is considered to be a business from one to 49 employees. Okay, so, and if it's you know, not including the uh, owner, then it's zero to 49. Now, in terms of percentage, that tells you that 99.2% of businesses in the UK are considered to be small businesses. That means that they only have either just the owner or anything up to 49 employees. Now, the next category, which would be considered to be medium-sized businesses, were 35,600 in number. And uh, medium-sized business in the UK is different in the States, and it maybe is different in the country that you are in. But in the UK, a medium-sized business is any business that has 50 to 249 employees. But percentage-wise, that's just 0.6%. So 0.6% in the UK are considered to be medium-sized businesses, and that's simply because they have anything from 50 to 249 employees. And that's 35,600 businesses in the UK are medium-sized businesses. And so anything above 250 and more would be considered a large business. Now, I know in America, that's, I think you need to add another zero, but in, uh, here in the UK, that's how it's considered. So what do we mean by large businesses or how many are there? There's 7,000 as at time of this statistics that's been taken, there's 7,000 700 businesses are large businesses. That means that they have 
250 or more employees. But percentage wise, that is 0.1%. So 0.1% of the total business population in the UK are large businesses. And so if you are running a company that is over 250 staff in the UK, you're considered to be a large business. Now, at the moment, all this is, they're just numbers and maybe it's a bit of a highlight, but I want to drive home my point in this very short um, episode, which is why Business Leaders Coach, why we are focusing on helping businesses from startup to scale up. And the reason is because of the following numbers. You see, one of the things that moved me when I, at one point, when I was just doing some research on why there was a lot of knife stabbing, uh, this was a number of years ago, and I was able to trace it back to, unfortunately, underprivileged men or boys who couldn't find work. And there were lots of other reasons, obviously, but this was one of them. And one of the reasons was simply an employment issue. And one of the things that you're going to find from these numbers that I've just read are, are this. So let's make some sense out of these numbers. So when it comes to employment, okay, so who are the companies that are employing more people, right? So the entire SME, that small, medium size enterprise, which will now be from zero to 249, they employ in the UK 16.3 million. So 16.3 million, are, uh, we have the small, medium size businesses uh, employing the population and that is 61% of the employment population. Now, while the companies with 250 or more, which are considered to be large companies, they employ 10.6, 10.6 million, which is 39%, 39%. And when you think about it, is not that far off. Remember what I've said, that the population of large businesses in the UK is simply 0.1%. 7,700 businesses, 0.1% 1, of companies are actually contributing 39% of the entire population. And so what this simply means is that the more businesses that we can have scaled up to over 250 staff, which will be now be considered as a large business, the more people will be employed and the more we are tackling our unemployment issue. And so the role that business leaders coach plays is coming from a quote from John Maxwell when he says that everything rises and falls on leadership. And so business leaders coach wants to play our part in helping companies scale. Now, I don't think it's everybody's choice and it should be everybody's choice to scale their business to that size. That's not the case because once you're growing your business and adding value to your customers and you're maybe growing your team to a reasonable size, you're playing your part because everybody's playing their part. But the few that have chosen to scale to these, these larger numbers, then we're really dealing with this, this issue. So if this is what you want to be doing uh, and you want us to come on uh, support, help, give input, please let us know. But I hope that this just gets you thinking about how we can tackle these issues of unemployment simply by choosing to grow our small business 
into something bigger. So why the economy grows when your small business grows? The economy grows because it's dealing with the unemployment issue. So this is Toy Ocean B for Business Leaders Coach. As I said, this is going to be a short one today. I look forward to speaking to you next week. For now, take care. And if you haven't subscribed, please go to businessleaderscoach.com forward slash podcast and subscribe. And if you do want to contact me, you can either click on the link there that says schedule a call or email me directly, which is toye at businessleaderscoach.com. And I'll be looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you.